everybody. Today I am outside because a friend a couple days ago gave me a couple of beetles and I decided the enclosure that I have right now is a little too small and I'm going to relocate to this bad boy. Now let's start cleaning right there. You gotta leave all these sticks to dry so then it doesn't get, uh, mold doesn't really develop. Um, that might take a while, it's pretty humid outside. Alrighty, now that the cage is clean and the sticks are still drying, let's fill it up with some of this dirt. And the hole I made is a little too small. Let's fix that. Now, as you can see, this dirt is really dry and that's a little unideal for the beetles. They really like more moist environments. So after we put everything together, we're gonna start spraying some water to help with the moisture levels. And I think you'd wanna put like a, a comfortable amount of be uh, breeding mat in because I have a female, I have three females and one male. So there's going to inevitably be some breeding despite some uh, breeding yesterday, which I did manage to take a little sneak peek of. The matting set, let's, uh, let's relocate some of these beetles. Dang, he's really holding on to very good. Put those two lovers down. Alrighty, now that we relocated some of the beetles, I, uh, I first want to show you what I have in another Tupperware. Voila. These little white pearls are Kabatonshi eggs. And they will eventually hatch into a... Oh. I don't know if that was me just being fidgety, but I thought I saw one of the eggs move. That's pretty cool. As you can see, some of them are not exactly white anymore. There's this yellow one right here. It's a bit hard to see, but if you, you can see the little dots on it, and that's uh, that one's getting a little ready to hatch. I'm pretty excited. I'm gonna have a lot more beetles soon. <laughs> now, my beetles yesterday uh, did engage in the sexual intercourse. So, in my old cage, in this one right here, there might be some, uh, there might be some, some eggs. So uh, we're gonna look for them right now. Now that we cleaned the smaller cage I used to house my beetles, we're going to fill this up with some more uh, breeding mat and then kind of just put the eggs in there and uh, let them do their thing. I think, uh, I think I may need more to be honest. Oh well, we'll add more later, okay? Now we got the eggs, and the eggs will now go in. Mix this in very carefully. Get the, get the eggs submerged. Try not to, try not to hurt them. Okay, and I think that'll do it. So uh, about, let's see, about, Five days? I'll probably have to correct myself on this. They'll hatch into a larvae, which um, they'll then remain in for the next, like, nine months until they uh, metamorphose into the beetles I have now. Yeah. 
So, now what do these beetles really eat on? So in nature, they would eat on um, kind of like sap from trees. So uh, if you just have them in any sweet spot, they even eat fruits. But commercially and as pets, we usually feed them what we call kunchuziri. So now what this is, this is pretty much a jelly for beetles, right? It's got all your necessary uh, nutrients and vitamins that the beetles really need to survive. Let's see, they usually come in like fruity flavors. Like I got one that was like kiwi flavor. And they also kind of taste good to humans. There's a weird aftertaste, but you know, I've tried it. All right. And this one in particular is a brown sugar flavor, which I don't really see too often. So that's why I bought it. Now, usually all you need to do is just plop it into your place. But one of the problems you kind of have by doing that is uh, it gets really dirty very quickly from all the dirt. So you can buy these wooden logs that kind of have like special slots for you to put the, the jelly in. Watch, observe, like that. Super simple, right? All you do is plop them in there. And as long as you have these logs elevated, there should be zero problem. I wouldn't say zero. There's still gonna be dirt on them anyway because beetles are uh, inherently a little dirty. And yeah, I have another one. So I'll do that off camera and then I'll put it all together in what can be the most aesthetically pleasing, but that's pretty difficult when you only have a brown colored material. All right, I'll see you in a bit. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this real short video about uh, relocating my beetles. If I have any updates in the future, be sure to check it out. Bye bye Man, I need a haircut. See ya.